Welcome to the Homeowner Series. It's a beautiful day here at the property in Rockford Hills. Sun's overhead at just around 95 degrees out. Today we will be doing many things. Let's first kind of take an overview of the collection then we'll get going. We have everything pulled out of the garage here on a warm day. I was washing a few of the Porsches and I think at the end of today we'll take out the 174 GT on some back roads. The first thing I would do want to do is take the GMC Denali and drop off our car trailer in storage. We just don't have enough room here at the house and I was able to get a storage right next door to our property for a few hundred dollars a month. And I really do like this car trailer but maybe in the future we will switch over to an enclosed trailer to prevent damage on our vehicles. Now I decided to change the color of the Denali to look a little bit better and I think this white looks awesome. The commercial property right next door to us uh, gave us the go ahead for a few hundred dollars a month to kind of park the trailer there so why don't we do that and then uh, we'll kind of move on to the next thing. The GTA 5 Homeowner Series is rated for all ages. I really do enjoy this game and I do put a lot of effort into making it uh, so that anyone uh, can watch and it's a lot of fun to play this game and you guys have been requesting it quite a lot. Let's see if we could get this backed in here. Now the camera view is always a bit further out when we are towing but they said just kind of park it over here and uh, just put a trailer lock on the tongue and that's it. Perfect, we got the trailer drop there, let's pull forward and we'll just put a quick lock on it and a tire lock. I really do enjoy this series, this is a ton of fun and can't wait for what's to come, a lot of cool things. Alright, let's put a tongue lock on it, perfect, and let's uh, also uh, put a chain connecting both tires. So there we go, it's secured and uh, luckily it's not in our driveway anymore. The next thing we are doing is taking our Ford Raptor over to a dealership. We are getting kind of a Baja Raptor style. A lot of off-road parts we are putting on it, uh, many thousands in uh, parts, and it will look pretty cool. Let's see, I think we'll park the uh, Denali over here. It's kind of the Denali parking spot nowadays, and I, I kind of like it here as well. Awesome, let's go down here, hop in the Raptor. Now we bought that Raptor, I believe it's a 2013 or a 2011, and it does have that 6.2 liter V8, which is the reason why I uh, purchased it over the uh, second gen. So I'm thinking we'll go with lights in the bumper, lights up top, a whole back in the rack, and uh, definitely upgrade the suspension and a tune for the engine. Now with this homeowner series, it is a bit different. We can't really do too many projects around the house, just uh, cool things here with our fleet of cars. Now I really do like this property. One of our best properties uh, we have uh, kind of stayed at and I think we'll be staying at it for quite a long time as well. Looks like a newer house here is under construction, which is pretty neat. And we have arrived here to the dealership. This is kind of an exotic car dealership. We actually bought our 997 GT3 here as well. But let's kind of see. Is there a way? And actually it's right here. So let's go in front of this garage door here and get going on these modifications. So in the store here, let's kind of take a look. So we could do a front bumper. Yeah, let's look at the front bumper. So uh, actually let's kind of go here to the sun. This might be a little bit easier for us to see. Alright, so we could get one of those and we'll just kind of keep going through and I think we'll go with that one. It looks like no rear options, just keep going. A few different chassis, let's kind of go through them. A bed cover which is pretty neat. That looks awesome, look at that. And I, I like that rack, let's see. This rack removes the tailgate, adds lights up top there and that's a camper rack, that's pretty awesome. But I think we'll go with this one here, yeah. That's kind of the Baja style. We'll keep going down, looks like we don't have too many more options. We do have an engine tune, that's awesome. The uh, level four upgrades for race brakes, the transmission we want upgraded, and the suspension. Let's see, we'll raise it up. I think that's pretty good stock, and we'll do, let's see, for the wheels, I think we'll kind of stay with the stock wheels, but really quickly we'll see if there's any other colors. 
yeah so we'll stay here with the stock wheels until uh, we can get some new modifications but there we go guys our Baja style Ford Raptor is built here at the dealership that looks awesome having those uh, the ones up top there and this whole rack in the back with a spare tire that just looks awesome now when I was out driving around in the Tesla the other day, I did find a small off-road trail kind of right near our house. So why don't we go over there and kind of uh, see what this can do. My plan is to feature the uh, GTA 5 homeowner series every single week. It's just a lot of fun to film and uh, record these videos. Oh, can already tell that, that there's a pretty big horsepower difference, which is going to be awesome. And it looks like that uh, bus is uh, pulling over there. So let's kind of go down. You guys can actually see the lights up top there. That's pretty neat. And let's kind of continue. Wow, the suspension over a little bit of bumps is nothing. And it should be coming up soon. <laughs> really, really do like the look of this. This thing looks awesome. I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day's been a bit busy, but it's so far been good. And let's do this. I do have it in uh, rear wheel drive. I really don't want four wheel. Yes, yeah. Now it's a little bit of a trail. It's not really too much. We'll go slow by the dogs, slow by those people walking, and let's continue. Even though it's a little small trail, it's kind of nice to see. And actually, there looks to be a pretty cool house here. Let's go down the other trail, and then we'll head back to the house since we do have some other things we have to do. I can't wait to take this off-road. There's actually a few dirt tracks we could take it to, and we'll definitely do those coming up. Oh, this thing will be awesome. Definitely going to have to give this a wash and put it in uh, the garage. Now we do have a Can Am Maverick X3 and a dirt bike, and those are just uh, inside the garage. Really don't want to pull those out too many times since they're usually covered in dirt and uh, they don't look uh, <laughs> the best right out front, uh, especially uh, since we're in a pretty nice area. Awesome, so we are back here. The next thing, we are actually buying a Husqvarna lawnmower. I cannot wait to buy this. It will be a pretty awesome thing to kind of use around the house. Actually, if we could park it this way, we could get right up against the wall there and uh, do good. Now, we do have a, a lawn service that comes in. That's kind of what came with the house, but I, I said that I definitely wanted to mow the lawn, and, but they could do the mulch and all that. So let's kind of head to here to the backyard, and let's buy it. Now it's just a Husqvarna lawn tractor. I was trying to find a modded one, but I was actually unable to find one. Let's go here, utility lawnmower. Awesome, so here it is. Up next, I do want to go here and change the color over to the Husqvarna. Husqvarna, and let's see, I thought we were getting close. We'll keep going. Perfect, so we are kind of at the uh, Husqvarna colors, and let's see if we can get right up and over this curb. And this is always a little tricky. Let's see. We could probably get out and push it that little bit. Oh, yeah. There we go. We are pretty strong. That's awesome that we could do that. Really do wish we could do that in farm soon. But let's get going here. We'll start in the back. We'll just mow this little patch. And then we'll take the GT out for a spin. Now that we could actually see some grass clippings as well, which is pretty neat. If you do have any cool ideas here for the homeowner series, please let me know. I definitely want to do a lot more here with this series, weekly videos, and I do have some other videos planned here for GTA 5 as well. You can see the grass clippings. This lawnmower uh, so far has been doing a pretty good job. I have to shoot away from uh, that area, and I didn't want to put grass stains all over our retaining wall. We'll just kind of mow over this. These uh, stones are uh, deep enough in that we won't kind of damage the deck. Just some backing uh, up and driving forward seems to be the way to do it without completely turning around. That seems to be good for now, and let's kind of see where do we kind of park it up. I'm actually thinking we'll just kind of put it in this little tiny corner. 
Awesome. So the last thing we are doing is having a little bit of fun, but before we do that, let me give you an update. So it looks like we do have a few more things that have to be done here to the pool. It needs to be cleaned and actually that drain, uh, both these drains have to be unclogged, but hopefully we could get water in it soon and go for a swim and I will definitely see if I could add the water. I'm not sure if that will be possible. Let's hop in the uh, 4 GT, the second gen GT, really want to have some fun in it and just have a great time on the back roads. And I will have to say I am pretty much a Porsche guy here with this series, uh, four different Porsches. We have uh, 991.1 uh, and this thing just looks pretty cool, 991 GT2, 997. Uh, GT3 RS so pretty cool we do have two four GTs I definitely want to sell them if we do sell them we'll sell both uh, together and we do have a, a C8 Corvette this is actually going to be getting into the shop here for a full clear uh, protection film on the front end to prevent for uh, rock chips Let's hop in the GT though, those wheels are so, so cool. Really do like this car. Even though it's a EcoBoost V6, it's still a lot of fun. Just kind of squeeze out of here and we'll head out this door. Definitely a very, very fast car. Trying to follow the speed limits, but it's very hard here. Let's give it a few revs. And we'll do a launch there from a standstill. I mean, this car is pretty cool. One of the best uh, cars, and it's so cool that Ford uh, made this vehicle. It's awesome that we live up here in the Pinewood Hills. Next is some pretty cool roads, and it looks like there's not too many people out on the roads today. Awesome. I think we'll, uh, let's see, we do need to stop here and get some uh, gas for uh, 97 octane, and I believe it's on this side. We'll get gas and then we'll head back. That was a pretty fun ride up here to the gas station, though. Look at those doors. It's awesome to leave those doors up, and let's get fueled up. $97 uh, to fill up the tank. Gas prices are really expensive right now. And the best part about living uh, kind of in town, but also on the edge of the mountains, is that there are some pretty cool roads uh, that we could go to and have some fun, especially ones like these. Uh, but we'll definitely go on some car rallies, cool things like that coming up. Definitely a lot of fun here, and we do have to watch ourselves here in the town uh, to not get any speeding tickets. And we are back here at the house. Hope you guys enjoyed today's homeowner series video. We did quite a lot of things. We put the trailer in storage. We uh, turned our Raptor into a Baja Raptor. And we had some fun here in the 4 GT along with getting a new lawnmower. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And subscribe for more.